Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for stopping by and I'm back. He's back. Yeah. What did I bring back with me, Ransom? A puppy. What is the puppy's name? Uh. Do you have a name? So Ransom got this little puppy. <laughs> wanna show it to him? I Charlie? I, I kinda wanna name him. I kinda wanna name him Zena. Zena. Zena? Okay. That's, that's a good name. Because he has white. Yeah. We already have one Xena, but you can have another Xena if you want to. So I made it back, and Cassie, how was it when I was gone? We barely survived. Oh, come on. How bad was it, really? Well, it was good. I didn't get any video done because we had archer practice. We had basketball practice. The kids had friends over. We had come home. I'd do chores. I'd get lunch ready. Like, I just didn't have... If you're going to video, it takes like 10 times longer, and I just didn't have time for that. So I apologize, but here we are. No apologies needed. Um, there are sometimes things that are more important in life than just making videos. Sometimes you have to turn the camera off for a little bit, but we made it out to Kentucky. You don't have a coat on. Mama has on too. Are you cold? <laughs> but we made it out to Kentucky, and we made it back with no major issues and i'm going to show you guys a little bit of footage and just a little bit of what we did out there and give you an idea of what's happening out there um about three weeks after the major tornadoes went through but first we have to get ready for cold cold weather so they are forecasting super cold weather you want to show them what we got to help out with the cold so in order to prep for cold there's a couple more things we have to do one of them is get more firewood because we plan on burning a lot of firewood to keep warm but you know that our animals need to stay full and warm so for the cows we got some extra 24 percent um, tubs of protein lick so they can just have this as extra supplement and eat that as they want we also got jojo a brand new dog house you want to see if he likes it his old dog house had got moved out um, with some other animals and got busted up. So now he's got a brand new one, a uh, fresh bell of straw, and what else, Ransom? Some hay. Hay? Straw? Oh, Cassie, do not break the leg. I'm going to put this in the shop because if it's going to be super cold, it probably shouldn't be out here. But it's going to be super cold. So they are forecasting temperatures uh, around 20 degrees, and really it's just one cold night of that. And after that, it's going to warm back up a little bit. But that first cold snap, we have to be ready. We also want to put um, a tank warmer in with the Highland Cattle's uh, water, water supply. So we're going to do all that. So come along today. We'll get a few chores done. And we'll catch up with you guys on what was going on in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So for my uh, little chicks, the Farm on Route 66 chicks, they're feathered. They're okay to be out here, but I'm going to add some shavings uh, to this chicken tractor so they can stay extra warm. We'll take a quick look at them. can handle a lot more than people think so some people might think oh you need to bring them in or put a heater on them or this and that but God prepared them for this they can do it so as always I won this little extra pin that Gary built guess what's going in there my ducks so I'm just kidding we talked about it and we don't need to put any goats in it right now so we're gonna put the ducks in here because um, it'll just work out better for them so I'm gonna put some shavings in here to keep them warm oh and Gary made a two-step gate. You know what that is? One, two, and you're over. Two-step gate. Who knew? So while Cassie's doing that, let's check in on Zena. You doing all right, girl? She's been out here protecting the goats, just like a good warrior princess should. She's a good dog. So Cassie's filling up the uh, 
the little dog house for the quack house the the ducks as cassie just said the quack house apparently she's giving them some uh some shavings so they can get in there and huddle up together and stay warm if they will they choose to just stay out in the weather all the time yeah they uh i haven't seen any of them suffer yet but so this next thing we got to do is move the ducks to their new pen for i guess it's kind of for winter but really we just may need to do it what do you think yeah um i would just much rather have them back there than out here in the garden still um and they got to be close to where i can put water and stuff every day so let's see catch these catching skills you want me to get in there with you well you might need to to make them go one way i should wait till they're sleepy you want to give them some benadryl He's got some beautiful green feathers underneath there. Cassie they, had that. They don't ever let us mess with them, so it's hard to see how beautiful they are. Whoa. You see those feathers? Yeah. Underneath his wing. I'm afraid to move it though. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we don't ever get this close and personal. Let me, uh, oh, here it is. It's underneath his wing. You see it? Mm -hmm. Or it's in his wing. It's in his wing right there. There's more. Hey, you got some pretty feathers. All right, so I will carry this one over. You got him? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Me and you, buddy, we're going to go places, okay? What do you think? Hmm? That's the boy. Cassie informed me this is the boy. What's his name? Boy, yeah. Walter? Sure. All right, so this is Walter. Walter the Indian runner duck. Hey buddy, don't attack me. Don't attack me. If you haven't had a duck head resting on your shoulder lately, you're missing out. He's actually pretty calm right now. So we're gonna put him in his new home. We might not be done yet. We might still, in a few videos, be building another pin for them, but you'll have to stay tuned to figure out what that's gonna be. So, we have you a little duck house, a little duck hut, as Cassie calls it. There you go. There you go. All right. So that was in its new home. Zena, leave it. And we're going to go get another one. We got another, like another one in one swipe. <laughs> They're so soft. They feel so awesome. Hang on, girl. Oh, oh, get her wing. Oh, get her wing. Do they peck it? Do they peck like a chicken? This one, the other one didn't. Huh? The other one didn't. The other one was nice. If this duck attacks me, we got problems. All right. Hey, I want to charge you for transporting this duck. Okay. $3 a duck. Walker Transport Services. Nothing to quack about here, but... <laughs> Zena, leave it. So this last one's hiding from me. She thinks she's fooled me, but let's go get her. Not your friend, little Indian runner. Easy, girl. Easy. Easy, girl. Easy, Pachisi. Easy, girl. Easy, girl. Aww. Look at her. She's pure white. Snow white. So that Snow White, this little Indian runner girl, it's time to go see your friends. And we can take our fence down. We might make our chicken pen a little bigger. Yep. The next thing we got to take care of is the water because ducks love water. And they're nasty. And they're nasty. Someone tried to 
save that water right there. You got it? Yeah. Oh, look, we can reach it. Reach this. Oh, there, that's handy. Babe, you can turn it off and on. You got long arms? If you got long arms. All right, you ready? Yep, I'm gonna have to shed a coat. So two of them are out and one of them is actually in its house. I, I put it, I put that one that I carried over in the house so it would know where it was. Cause these ducks are really bad about just laying out in the elements. They don't go, they won't go in something. So maybe if this one gets real comfortable in there, maybe they'll come in there. Cause if not, I don't know what tails to do for them. I don't want to waste this water. This might be a... Down, 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 down. Oh! <laughs> all right. So the ducks are all settled in now. Hopefully they'll do good in this little pen. I like that it's a smaller area. I feel like they can get more used to us. Yeah, and we can always build like a hut in the corner somewhere um, for them later. But we got the cold weather coming in, so we're just making do with what we got. And this little faucet right here is the main reason they're in this spot because it's going to be real handy to water them and keep sure keep water out to them Zena, i don't want you digging into this pen and getting ducks i want you to watch over these ducks okay do a good job for us so the next thing we have to worry about are the cattle they need to drink fresh water all the time especially when it gets below freezing so we're going to use a stank talk stock tank warmer stank talk warmer <laughs> <laughs> a stock tank warmer uh, this one has a guard on the bottom that keeps it off of the very bottom because you may have heard other um, farmers or YouTube channels homesteaders that put one of these warmers in their tank and then when the water runs out it burns a hole in the bottom of their tank which is no bueno because those tanks are um, over a hundred bucks you don't want to do that so we're gonna put this in there it's got that guard on the bottom so when it hits the bottom, it should be good to go. And so we're gonna drop this in. Just like that. And then run this out here. You can also see that that guard keeps it from going to the sides. So it doesn't ever, it doesn't ever hit the sides of the tank either. So that will help it um, stay warm. What do you think? Looks good, and the Angus cattle over on the other side, they have a creek that um, runs continuously, so it won't freeze up. They'll just drink, uh, they'll just drink from that. Somebody heard us. What, girls? You want your range cubes? You're hungry for cake? It's not your birthday. Go Highlands, it's your birthday. You're gonna party like it's your birthday. You're gonna eat cake like it's your birthday. And you don't care that it's not your birthday. Well, 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 well. What do you think? What do you think? Nope, not cake. One, two, three, not cake. Reba, of course, is always in the back. Hey, Reba. You doing all right, girl? Huh? I don't think any of you wants to kiss a Highland cow. I don't think. Do you want to kiss a Highland cow? I'm out. Come on. This one's real pretty. You want to kiss? Mwah. Poppy right here is my favorite with that dark nose. Poppy? You want to kiss? Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to kiss? Mwah. <laughs> Ooh, there's something on it. For I her. know. It's a cow's <laughs> bobber. Uh oh, Mazzy. Mazzy, you want to kiss? You want to kiss? Oh, you uh -oh. brought me chocolate. No, no, Whoa, no, that was no, so nice. Hey, that was I so for Christmas. Oh. That was so nice of you. Mazzy, you want to kiss? Mm -hmm. No. Hey, the watch. cows just licked it. Want to see the cows kiss the camera? Uh. Watch this. Ready? Oh, she's <laughs> over it. She's over it. She said, I saw that human kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, Maddie, kiss it. Okay, no, do it. Okay, no, no, no. you can have this chocolate if you kiss the camera. <laughs> no. Come um, on. I'm kidding. You can eat it. <laughs> you got that for Christmas? 
Mm, let me see it. Was this Mazzy's? This is your favorite kind? Just a plain Hershey's <laughs> bar. Nothing special with her. Don't like nuts. She does not like peanuts. People almonds. ask me all the time, is Mazzy allergic to nuts? I'm like, no, she just really doesn't like them. Do they make you gag? <laughs> So before we go feed the cows, I want to do a quick update on the peacock. He is doing awesome. Hey, buddy. His tail feathers are growing in quite a bit, I think. And, of course, we have to check in on Sue, doing her stretches. She's getting a little bit older. You got to stretch. Don't want to hurt any muscles, girl. She's a good cat. It's good, Susu. And no, a lot of you have asked. We still haven't seen Luki yet, but Sue's doing good, and JoJo's doing good, and Zena. Hey, Joe. What's that? Good boy. Good boy, JoJo. Good boy. Good kitty cat. Good girl. Did somebody say cake? Did somebody say cake? Who wants it? I always give him a little bit by hand. Here you go, girl. She says, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Woo. Watch them horns. You gotta watch the horns. All right, hang on, girls. Get back, 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 get back. So they're going to town, and if I don't know if you can hear all this nonsense behind me, but they're having a fit. They, they see me feeding cubes to other animals. They're like, what? Those are, that's our feed. Let's go feed them. Come on, come on. Hang on just a second, I'll get you fed. So when I feed range cubes to these cows, I like to spread them way out so they all get a chance to eat. And they do a great job of picking these up off the ground. There won't be any left behind. Bull, you want to eat? You better hurry up and get over here. Oh, we got a fight. Blackberry, she being mean to you?
You be mean to you, Blackberry? Go eat. Don't let her shove you away from the food. Be a boss. So there's a little bit of fight going on, but she's jumping back in there and getting some now. Hey, babies. So I don't know if these cows have ever ate these before, but they're gonna get some extra protein. These 24% protein tubs. Have you ever ate that? Something new, they gotta figure it out. So while they figure it out, I want to hurry up and get my truck out of this field because I don't know if they're used to being around vehicles and I don't want them to plant their horns in the side of this. Hey girls. These girls know all about those, don't you, sis? They like them. You like them, don't you? Yeah. I'll get your hay. They're mad because they're, they're wanting their hay. That's next. Patience. It's a virtue, patience. I promise I'll get you some hay, okay? Just a minute, just a minute. All right, before I go put out hay, Ranger's out here shooting baskets. Shorts and a hoodie. Let's see if we can smash, uh, you wanna see if you can sink one? Oh, got the bounce. One more. One more. Let's see it. In Crocs. Your mama won't buy you any tennis shoes? Oh, all right, see if you can switch one. Last one. Hey, good job, buddy. Keep it up. Practice makes what? Perfect. Perfect. So I just made it back inside from getting all the hay put out to the animals. Everything is fed, watered, and is ready for the cold weather as it can be. We might get a little bit of snow, but with these weather forecasters, you never know. It could be more, less, nothing, who knows, but we are ready as we can be. So a lot of you have asked, and some of you know because you've been following along on social media, um, a group of um, people from our church, so myself and um, 14 other people traveled out to Bowling Green, Kentucky 
to do some um, tornado relief work, if that's what you want to call it. Um, just a little bit of work to help out those who are in need from the devastation faced from the storms that passed through Kentucky, the tornadoes, multiple lives were lost, horrible, horrible situation. We are way too familiar with that here in Oklahoma. So before we go any further, I just wanted to show you guys some of the video that I took from out there. Some of this stuff is going to be um, homes that were completely destroyed. Some of it is homes that were partially, and that's um, where we were able to help out the most. Homes that were partially destroyed because those individuals were actually at home and we could talk to them. Um, we were able to pray with them. We were able to share with them um, some gifts that some of our church members, members had sent. Um, and we were able to help them with some of their needs as far as cleaning up debris or cleaning up um, limbs, uh, taking out trees that are partially fallen, and um, moving furniture out of homes that had bad water leaks and partial roofs um, were gone and they had uh, issues from that. So I want to show you a quick video right now and um, we'll talk about what else we did in just a second. So as you can see, that was a horrible tornado that landed there in Bowling Green. Um, those individuals that we were able to assist were the most um, thankful people I've ever met. They were loving to us. Um, they, uh, most of them when we showed up, they would ask where we're from. We said Oklahoma and um, we asked if there anything we could do for them. They would throw their arms around you and give you a big hug and tell you thank you for coming all that way, how much they appreciated us. And as much as we um, 
were able to help and bless them, I feel like we were blessed just as much. But we had a great trip out there. It was a safe trip. We didn't have any major issues. Um, anytime you take 15 individuals all working at the same time, multiple chainsaws going, there's a lot of opportunity for dangerous and bad things to happen. And we are just so thankful and blessed that we um, didn't have any issues along the way. And we came home all in one piece and um, we had a great time there. Um, the Free Will Baptist Church there in um, Bowling Green, Kentucky was very gracious and allowed us to stay in their gymnasium. So we were able to bring our camping gear and just set it up in there, cots and sleeping bags and that type of thing. So I know at some point all of us are going to need a little help along the way. And the Bible tells us to, to love our neighbor as ourselves. And we just hope that we were able to um, provide a little bit of help, a little bit of hope to those who are really in need. So we want to thank you guys so much for following along. 2021 is over. 2022 is upon us. And we hope that this is the best year for you. We're hoping for great things for our family. And we thank you so much for following along. We hope that you have a great day. And God bless. We'll see you next time.